Hey guys, I get a lot of questions on the phone and I see a lot of confusion online where people don't really know how to set their throttle position sensor on the 300ZX, so I want to make a quick video showing you how. I'm going to do uh, two methods of doing it, one with a console interface like Nissan Datascan and one without. So if you're doing it without, at the very least, you're going to need a multimeter, a couple alligator clips, and a 7mm ratcheting wrench or socket. So the first thing we need to do is disconnect this gray oval connector to the throttle position sensor. It's pretty straightforward. You just push down on this tab and then pull it apart. It's kind of tight here, and if it's never been off before, it'll be, it'll be snug, but that's all there is to it. So now we just need to break loose the 7mm bolt on the top and bottom. Make sure you use a ratchet with a socket. If you try to do it with a Phillips screwdriver, it's going to strip. It does every single time. I already purposely set the TPS wrong on this car, just so you guys can see how to do it. You don't have to take them off, just loosen them. The next thing you're gonna do is grab a multimeter, and I like to use a couple alligator clips. You can do it without it, it's just kind of awkward. And you're just gonna hook your alligator clips up to your multimeter pins. I kind of float them so they don't touch the body. Okay, so this is the stock connector that goes to the TPS. So it's the TPS side, not the body side. And we're gonna be checking on the white and the red pins. Um, polarity doesn't matter because it's just resistance. We just get those connected. That's why I like alligator clips, makes it a lot easier. Then you're gonna set your multimeter to resistance, which is the ohm symbol. And if yours doesn't have just one setting, um, you're gonna be in the range of about 8,000 ohms. So you need like 10,000 or 20,000. So right now this is at basically 8,500 ohms, it's 8.52 kilo ohms. And since your bolts on the TPS are loose, you're basically gonna adjust this until this is about 8.8. .8. Yeah, so you just rotate your throttle position sensor. You can see it just kind of hangs on here and you're looking for 8.8. .8. Now a little bit goes a long way, so you kind of have to just nudge it at a time. Okay, so we got it at 8.75, which is actually 8,700 ohms, um, but that's pretty much right there. You basically have a range to move in. 8.8 um, .8 is pretty much right in the middle, so as long as you're close to that, you should be good. And then uh, once you got that set, you can tighten these down. Do a little bit at a time because it's gonna throw off the adjustment if you just wrench down on one side. And they do not need to be very tight. These are itty bitty bolts. So the other thing you can do while you're in here and you have this hooked up, is you can make sure the position sensor is working right. And basically for that, you're gonna open the throttle and kind of run it through its range while you watch the resistance. You should see it change very slowly and gradually. No like drops or pits in it. That would indicate that you have a bad TPS. So I'm just gonna slowly open the throttle and you should see the resistance go down gradually. All right, so the last thing we have to do is reset the base idle position. Um, the TPS is actually two sensors in one. It's a position sensor, and a hard idle switch, but the hard idle switch isn't very accurate and it often doesn't work, so you can kind of fudge it with just the position sensor. So remove all your alligator clips, reconnect it, and then get the key on. You don't, you don't have to start the car, just key on. Wait about 10 seconds, and what you're gonna do is unplug it, wait 10 to 15 seconds, and then plug it back in. And I'll show you what that does to the ECU when we do the second way. Other way of doing it, which is a way better way of doing it, is with a console interface. Um, I like the PLMS cable combined with Nissan Datascan. Um, and it's pretty simple. You just fire it up, connect to it, and then open your data display. And you're looking for throttle. So right now it's 0.4. Our range is between 0.4 and 0.44, or 0.4 and 0.5 volts at idle. What happens when we disconnect the throttle? Normally, if your closed idle switches off, you disconnect it, and the voltage spikes up for the throttle position sensor. When you see the voltage climbing, you'll see the closed TPS switch will turn itself back on, and then when you reconnect it, the voltage drops down to where you want it to be, but it keeps the closed TPS on. So now it knows where the closed throttle position is for idle and the voltage is correct so you know that your adjustment is right. Also if you want to see, this is what the ECU is seeing when you open the throttle. So it's really easy to verify visually if your throttle position sensor is working correctly. If it was bad, you would see it drop off or spike at any point. That's basically all there is to it.
So I noticed it was 0.4 and the spec is between 0.4 and 0.5 and it's gonna bother me, so I'm gonna make it perfect. So I'm literally just looking at my computer screen while I move it. So I just adjusted the 0.44 and the uh, closed TPS turned off again. Now I'll do the reeler one more time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this answers some questions. If you want to see anything else like this, let us know in the comments. Um, we do sell console software and cables on our website. We'll link you below. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more stuff like this. We're going to keep working on this car and a lot of our other projects around the shop. An easy way to make horsepower on an NA car. Unbox this bad boy and take a closer look. Ooh. Beautiful car.